you know, we only have so many hours in a day. You can't talk to all the people out there. Why not talk to the highest quality of the people out there? Who is that? What would you consider a lead? Pretty much a, a, you know, a, a client that's ready to, to, to buy or purchase a home or sell a, purchase, or sell a home. Yeah. Wrong. To start. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Completely wrong. Right? That's not a lead. A lead is a human in your market. People that own property in your market, number one, you can't contact them all. That's a huge audience. You'll never get to all of them. Number two, a lot of these leads people are buying, they're not ready to do anything yet. So you just said a lead is somebody who's ready to do something, but yet you're paying for a bunch of so-called leads that aren't ready to do anything, right? Makes sense. So you're not really buying what you call leads. You're buying random, okay? You're buying random people in your market's contact information for an ungodful amount of money. I understand, I understand. The problem is you paid 30, 10, 20, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars for that lead. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. So my thing is, is why would we spend $200 on a random person in our market's contact information who may or may not be ready to buy or sell anything today, when we could buy targeted property owners that own the exact property one with sales contact information for two cents that may or may not be ready to do anything right now. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's a human in your market. The difference is it's two cents for targeted versus 200 for random. So that makes sense, right? So a lead is a human being in your market. And to me, it's like, okay, if we're gonna spend our time, our valuable hours, you know, we only have so many hours in a day, you can't talk to all the people out there, why not talk to the highest quality of the people out there? Who is that? That's the prospect that makes you the most amount of money in the least amount of time. And who's that? Property owners that already own the type of property you wanna sell. And I'm not just talking about listings. They're the best buyers. They already know property ownership, property taxes, insurance, maintenance, condo fees, mortgages, interest rates, closing costs, they already know all that stuff. They've already done it. They own property. You don't have to educate them. So what does that do? Saves you time. Everybody's running around like a chicken with their head cut off, trying to service $200 leads that don't want to do anything, when they could be buying targeted people who know exactly what they want to do for two cents a piece. I mean, dude, I'm just like, can I get an amen? Like, I, I'm just telling you things, you know what I'm saying? And just mic dropping here. I'm just giving you my thoughts. And so for me, I take a new agent, I'm talking about under $500 a month. Let's set up you to get 5,000 random, not random, targeted property owners contact information every month. Let's get a weekly email started. Let's focus on the things that really can blow our business up and just forget about everything else. Where do you get those clients from? You said like targeting your... Uh... Red X, man. Red X. Here, I'll, I'll put a link right here. Red X. Red X Geo Leads, okay? This link right here will save you 150 bucks. You can waive the $150 startup fee right there. That link is also on my website, zerodiamond.com. But you go there, it's Geo Leads. You put an address in the, ad in, the search, in the search bar, and boom, you get everybody in the subdivision's contact information, and you just hit another button next to it, it says dial, and it starts auto dialing them. Right, and you say, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, it's Ricky Carruth down at eXp Realty. How you doing today? I'm doing good too, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Cool, well look, man, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but there was a house right around the corner from you that just sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. No? Okay, well, shoot, man. I'm, uh, do you have an agent that you would work with if you were to do something? All right, well, cool. Well, I'm sure at some point in the future, you're going to do something, I'm sure. I'd love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be all right if I just stayed in touch? Cool. What's a great email for you? Is this your cell phone? Thank you. I'm going to stay in touch via email. This is Ricky Carruth again, EXP Realty. I'll be sending you emails. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can ever do for you. Bam! See, I didn't try to sell him anything, right? I asked him how he was doing. I didn't come right with some sales, salesy stuff. I asked him how he's enjoying the day. Is he enjoying the weather? I don't want to take up too much of our time. Here's some, here's some value. Here's some market information. Is there anything in the world I can do for you based on all that? <laughs> based on the fact that now you know I'm a nice guy. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to provide value and respect your time. Is there anything in the world I can do for you now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if not, 
is there an agent you would work with? Because if you don't have an agent, heck, here I am. I'd love to be that guy. I'd love the opportunity just to work with you, maybe just the opportunity. When the day comes, would it be hard if I just stayed in touch? Cool, what's a good email? Is this your shell number? Boom, boom, pow. Let me figure out your next question. Can you hire ISA to make all the calls for you? <laughs> right? Right? Right. That's gonna be the next, that's the next question, I'm sure. And the, and the, and the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you have to make the calls. I hate to break this. I hate to break this to you guys, but you actually have to do something to succeed in this business. You got to call the people yourself. They want to know you. You don't want. I mean, if somebody else is calling, they're getting to know them, not you. So yeah, you have to make those calls and you have to create those relationships. You have to think of yourself. Um, it's like a weird word right now in today's world, but you got to think of yourself like a politician. That you're canvassing your market to let people know who you are, what you do, and that you're here to help. Whoever does that the most wins.